God bless you all. We continue with our preparation for consecration to Jesus, the hands and heart of Our Lady. Day 27, Our Lady and the Power of Silence. St. John Paul II tells us in his general audience on November 22, 1995, Mary's example enables the church to appreciate better the value of silence. Mary's silence is not only moderation in speech, it is especially a wise capacity for remembering and embracing in a single gaze of faith the mystery of the Word made man and the events of his earthly life. Mary passes on to believers this silence as acceptance of the Word, this ability to meditate on the mystery of Christ. In a noisy world filled with messages of all kinds, her witness fosters a contemplative spirit and enables us to appreciate a spiritually rich silence. And now from the heart of our mother foundress, Mother Adela Galindo. She tells us, in prayer, we receive strength. We receive the capacity to understand God and to understand each other and ourselves. In prayer, we learn to listen to God. A serious problem of our time is that people talk a lot. There is an incapacity for silence. Everything is noise and that's a work of Satan. Satan is very noisy and he loves noise. The more noise, the happier he is because that noise doesn't allow us to listen to one another and it impedes communication among one another. Brothers and sisters, we have to reduce the noise of our lives so that we can listen to God who wants to speak to us. May the Lord bless you.